And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Hungary against Italy. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, when you see it like that, their central midfield players look a little bit isolated. But I'm expecting the two fullbacks to push up to make it more of a 3-4-3. And I think we see a lot of positional rotation in this starting eleven. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Domenico Berardi plays with Lorenzo Insigne in the wide positions. And the centrepiece of the attack today, Ciro Immobile. And the match begins. Hero Immobile. A foul, but advantage played. Always voracious, Verratti, to win it back. Immobile. Real defensive commitment there. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, it was easy on the eye, but the interception was made. Emerson. Jorginho. Lorenzo Insigne. Good pass. And a good-looking ball. The end product just wasn't there. Possession one. Immobile, now Insigne, can they slot it home? And the keeper hangs on at the second attempt. Well, he's done really well, hasn't he? Great stop, and then the reaction. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Jorginho, ball's gone. Alessandro Bastoni Barella has it Verratti he's in behind and this time it's in fabulous goal and just look at the celebrations
Well, just look at this. He couldn't have placed it any better, could he? The keeper had absolutely no chance there. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Possession lost, intercepted. Lorenzo Insigne. Varela has it. He takes aim. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Favouring the short one. Alessandro Bastoni. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. And no way through. Adam Nudge. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And not quite accurate enough, Stuart. Well, I think he should do better there, but at least they're now knocking at the door. Bonucci. Jorginho. Verratti now. Jorginho. On the ball, Emerson. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. to pass the ball but remaining patient and the keeper getting across to stop it short corner it is has someone to play it to really vital interception here Schaefer Salai could be a chance to break here well it petered out Verratti Jorginho well he keeps going and return to Jorginho on to Jorginho. Very quick thinking there. Space afforded him. And space for the cross. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, they can keep possession now. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Jorginho. 
spraying passes around almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake and scope for them to produce something exciting Jorginho Barella the referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time not what he was intending bad pass and the whistle is sounded for half time in this game well a lot to like about Chiro Immobile and his first half performance Stuart your thoughts well Derek he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Chance to run at them. And space to cross it. Perfect challenge. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Verassi now. Emerson. Verassi. Barella has it. Oh, good vision. Well, it looked like a good ball, but cut out in the end. And good pressure high up the pitch. Well, it's all going so swimmingly for them here. Another goal. And now it's a matter of avoiding any silly mistakes. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. Take it away. Well, Italy have certainly tried to control the flow of the game. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Corner kick played in. Well, it came to nothing in the end. So, Bosloy. Schaefer. Adam Soloy. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Emerson. And do they mean business on this occasion? Well, he really read that brilliantly. And a chance for him on the flank. Well, following the clearance, it will be a corner. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. And played short. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in.
and delivered towards the back post. But goalkeeper's ball, disappointingly for them. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Barella. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. And take it away. On and on he goes. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Jorginho. On the ball, Emerson. The delivery towards the back post. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. 15 minutes left for play. Well, the final whistle approaching, and this has certainly been an away day to remember. Stuart, your assessment. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. And using his body to good effect. Firing it towards goal. Well, giving it a go in a bid to hold them back into this one. Well, they're knocking at the door here, but they need to score soon. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Velossi. Lorenzo Pellegrini with it. Barella. Berardi has it. Could cross it in here. Domenico Berardi. Can he finish? And the keeper getting across to stop it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Pellegrini. Here's Soloy. Sobosloy. played into the center got to it easily the keeper well adding up all the stoppages we will have two extra minutes and no way through and so the final whistle here the visitors come out on top Stuart Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well.
Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.